what I want to teach is from the perspective of someone who thinks a bit too much about how to uh, free mount your unicycle. What I learned by trial and error after watching some videos on YouTube and then the things that clicked for me. So uh, I'm just going to show you how I free mount now um, after a whole lot of practice and then we'll break it down into uh, how I thought about it and how I got it to click in my head. So this is just a basic free mount and then off we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is just free mount in another direction. So this is, I've got a slight hill here just because it's the uh, most convenient place to uh, film it. So because I'm going uphill, I'm going to have to lean a bit more. Okay, so when you start to frame up, what you want to make sure is you want to get the, the pedals pretty much level. And for me, I'm left foot dominant, so I get my dominant foot and I have it, I aim my dominant foot for the, the far pedal. So I'm going to be stepping on. So what I found is what people do wrong. Anyway. So when you start to free mount, often what happens is people will push down and go up and over and that's because they haven't got the right sort of mental picture of what they're trying to do. So this is the way I like to picture it. So. The way I'd like to think about it is you're trying to make the unicycle stay put. You want to put your foot on this and find just the right amount of pressure so it doesn't move forward so that when you get your other foot on there, so you have your, your dominant, in this case I flipped it around to better the camera, but you say this is your dominant foot, you put that first foot here and as you come up you want to get that second foot there. But you basically want this thing to stay exactly still so when you when you see the unicycle in your mind's eye going up, it's not a case of I'm going to bring this underneath me. It's more of a case of this unicycle is going nowhere and it's a, a balancing pressure between, uh, between your foot pressing down, your groin pushing forward, and somewhere between that pressure you have to learn this. This is the this is the uh, trial and error stage. But you need to find the exact amount of balance whilst you push forward to set this sailing up. So effectively, what you're emulating is this thing locked in position, and your groin, illustrated by my armpit, comes in and you push with enough enough pressure, and everything's balanced at the base, so that you come up and over. So the way I would tell myself, I need to picture somewhere between a crutch, if you ever uh, have broken your legs, and, or leg, or sprained an ankle, you know about crutches. Hopefully you won't discover too much about crutches in your unicycling journey. But um, what, what I've found is, if you've got someone else's crutches that are a bit too tall, you put them under your arm and you sort of push forward, and you're pushing forward, lifts you up and over. Well, this is a little practice that I, I found myself doing to try to find the balance point. So what you need to do is, um, you need to turn this into somewhere between a crutch under your arm, same foot, and it's somewhere between that and stepping over a rock. So you're like, I've, I've made my slippery unicycle that just wants to run backwards and forwards with the right amount of pressure. You've made it stay still with the right amount of pressure on your foot 
and your groin and somewhere between those two of the foot wanting to push it back and your hips trying to drive it forward somewhere between the pressure of the foot and the groin coming together in the pedal you find yourself with a stable non-moving wheel and once you've done that well to, to find that point I find it's a good little drill to do for yourself is to uh, push find that pressure and then just push with your hips and you just want to you're not leaping up with this leg this back leg you're just um, it's, it's just a it's because you're pushing forward and riding up like you're on a pair of crutches or a set of crutches so it's just pressure like I'm not you can look how straight my leg is I'm I can be just on my heel and there's no there's no spring in this whole back leg thigh ass it's all just stable and I'm just using my my hips my swing to to get that off the ground and in doing that when you're going to do that first you're gonna this leg's gonna go up or you're gonna push too hard and it's gonna go back so it's gonna be the practice just to sort of find the pressure that gets it so this wheel stays put okay so the next thing we can do is actually put our other foot on so it's very important to make sure this pedal here is ready for your foot when you get better maybe you can handle more uh, unpredictable situations but for now you want to make sure this one's level and ready for you now this one's for the men um, no one really speaks about this but you uh, you crush your junk all the time and the only way to get around that I found is just to sort of nestle it in push everything off to one side and then the pressure is on uh, ligaments and bones and not family jewels um, and it's really hard to convince yourself to push forward and push through when you're crushing your balls with every attempt so it's really important to just get get that stuff off to one side so that you're not you're not going ah, ooh. so yeah, um, no one says that now you know <laughs> that's how you not crush your balls whilst unicycling so now we're actually going to get that foot coming up so when we've got a stable base we push up and put that foot there now because I've had enough time to practice, I'm not immediately falling off. So it's push up and you sort of want to get that foot, touch it to the other pedal. Now what I was doing there is I'm not actually getting past the balance point. So okay, so let's get this wheel in the right spot. Put that pedal in the right position. Start here now. We've we've been doing a little hop, so it's time to actually go a bit further and next you'll be trying to just get that foot on there and you'll be falling off and not feeling too stable but eventually you want to mix all of this up so sometimes you'll just be doing the hop and it's like yeah you've got to get this thing stable next time you'll be trying to get your foot on there and like then you'll be great let's get going so let's try the getting going part so this is where the crutch analogy comes in um, you want to step, you want to have this whole balance between your groin, pelvis, whatever, and your foot. So you've got a fairly stable position. You want to picture this like stepping over a rock. You're stepping on a rock with this foot. Whilst at the same time, you're sort of picturing being on a, uh, being with some crutches and going up and over and, and stopping, pushing up and over and getting to here. But You've only got this initial push, and that pu initial push has to get you there. And then you start riding. So what does that look like? Stable. So you want this initial push, and then you ride. So the key, if you don't go far enough, if you don't go far enough, you're... I think I did go far enough, but... Um, 
if, you, if you're not going far enough, you'll, you'll be sort of, you might end up just on the top, but not going forward. Or if you go too far, which you probably won't for a while, but sometimes you might need to force yourself. I'm going to fail forward instead of, sometimes you'll be failing by not enough forward. Other times you'll be failing by too much. Now, you're gonna do that pushing back if you haven't got your second foot in there. So, what you need to do, get up, over, try to catch it, up over, and get pedaling. So let's get that to the right position, put that right to here, squeeze pound the jaw to the right spot, and then up, over, and pedal. And that's kind of that's kind of the basics. You're going to have to discover what all of those things mean to you. The thing I would tell myself when I was trying to get that first bit of free mount with enough energy is I found it so hard to push all the way through and have enough energy. So what I ended up trying to tell myself is push through, push through, step on the rock, push through, and it sounds like a, a silly mantra that you're telling yourself, but it's just what you need to, it's whatever you need to get these ideas into your head. And if my analogies don't work for you, hopefully someone's will, or you'll discover your own. So I hope this has helped. Um, and uh, happy unicycling. Hopefully it takes you a bit less time than it did me. Yeah. Did I mention I'm still learning? <laughs>